every in-depth interview, hard-hitting highlights, and a whole lot more. Face and Gridiron. Welcome back, and thanks for joining me. I'm Erin Reynolds, and I'm excited to kick off another season of Base and Gridiron with you. We have some special guests in studio this evening that you won't want to miss, and if you missed any highlights or scores from some West Texas football games this weekend, I've got you covered there, too. So let's get this show on the road. The Basin's best Sunday night sports show starts right now. Well, I felt extremely comfortable on the field. Again, it was a scrimmage, but there's going to be some excitement. Uh, but as far as nervousness, no. Permian kicked off its first season under interim head coach Jeff Ellison this past Friday, and as you heard, he was not nervous about his new role. So without further ado, let's do a recap on how those Panthers did against DeSoto this weekend. So it's Friday Night Lights, a showdown between Permian and DeSoto over at Ratliff Stadium. Permian starting off the season with a home game. DeSoto would strike first as running back Tyson Alexander would make a 30-yard run into the end zone. So DeSoto goes up 7-0 to zero in the first. Now, not too long after, the Eagles would do it again. Here we go with wide receiver Kenneth Slater. He runs the length of the field for the touchdown, 14-0 to zero DeSoto. Coach Elson, not so happy after that one. However, Permian would not give up. Here's Justin Hammond making a, making a big spin to move, gain some yards. That would lead to a Permian score. So now the Panthers only trail 14-7. to seven. However, toward the end of the half, DeSoto with another big play. Ward bombs into wide receiver Lawrence Arnold Jr. for the touchdown. And after a field goal, DeSoto leads at half. 21 to 13, and Permian just could not quite catch up. They dropped their season opener at home 38 to 28. Our own Caleb Califano caught up with Coach Ellison after the game. First, I got to say it was a tough loss, but your team fought really hard. What do you have to say about them? Uh, they did. They fought uh, extremely hard, um, but we made way too many mistakes. First half, uh, we uh, too many penalties on offense, too many big plays on defense. And then we turn around at halftime, we get make some adjustments and get uh, some things fixed on defense, and we're stopping them, and we turn the ball over twice to start the second half. And, uh, and that's the game. I mean, our kids, we, I'm proud of them. They did a great job, but we just can't make those mistakes against a good football team like DeSoto. All right. Now, across town, Odessa High would take on Monterey up in Lubbock on Thursday. Trey Smith starting the Broncos off. He would run this one home himself. Almost makes it to the end zone until he's knocked out of bounds. So let's see if the Broncos can capitalize on this one. Smith at it again. Takes it into the end zone for himself. So touchdown. Odessa High takes an early lead. Now the Plainsman would look to respond later on in the quarter. Corian Bailey for the Plainsman trying to get things going. That quarterback. So Bailey would lead the Plainsman on this drive to get them on the board. A 19-yard touchdown to get the Plainsmen all caught up. So let's see if they can capitalize on this. They're going for the two-point conversion. Bailey does it again. So we're at, a, we're at a tie game, 14 to 14. Then we get this field goal, so a 14-11 game. Same score in the second half. So Broncos looking to capitalize in the second half, improve on offense. Swing pass here from Bailey, and the Odessa high defense gets in on the action as well. Broncos win this one 23-11. to 11. Now over in the tall city, Midland High got to start its season at home. The Bulldogs got off to a rough start last year and lost their first five games. So let's see if that home field advantage helps them out at all. Bulldogs starting off the season against Randall over at Grande. QB, Sudden Sapien, trying to get something going here for the Bulldogs, but that pass is way overthrown. So Midland leads by four in the third quarter. Let's try it again. Sapien. Pass is still no good, but this field goal would be. Midland High keeps Randall at 17 and extends its lead to 24, and that was all she wrote. Big twos, Michael Lozano caught up with head coach Tim Aniscavich after the game. Guys, I'm here at Grande Communication Stadium with Coach Tim Aniscavich. Coach, your name is so nice, I'm going to say it twice. Coach Aniscavich, you guys won today. What does it mean to be able to win your first game of the season? Well, it's always great to win the first game of the season. You know, our kids have worked really hard. I mean, it was, it was an ugly win, but uh, I was really proud of the way our kids came out in the second half. We overcame some penalties. We got more physical in the second half. Um, 
you know, I, I think we kicked four field goals tonight. So we left a lot of points out there, just kind of stalled out in the red zone. You know, defensively, uh, we got better as the game went on. We tackled better as the game went on. So, you know, we're developing as a football team. Randall played really well tonight, I thought. They're, they're a physical football team, and that was a great test for us. And, uh, and we'll continue to improve. But to come out of the first week with a win, uh, I, I don't know how many yards of penalties we had tonight, but to overcome that was a pretty big pretty big accomplishment for our team. And coach, this is your second season as the head coach. Last year you guys were three and eight. You lost in the first round of the playoffs. What are your hopes for this season and where do you think your team can go? Well we're we've got a lot of kids that played in that season that the character of those kids is 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 evident on our team. I mean they didn't quit, they didn't give up. Um, you know, our expectation is to be a well-oiled football team by the time we get to district play. So this game is going to be a learning experience for us. Um, you know, like I said, it definitely looked like a first game out. It was a little sloppy. Uh, we'll be a lot better football team next Thursday when we go to El Paso. And how are you guys going to prepare for El Paso next week? Well, I mean, with it being a Thursday game, you got one day short. You try to squeeze a little bit more stuff into practice. You know, we've got to get rested up this weekend. We probably got a little banged up tonight, but, uh, you know, get rested up over the weekend and come back Monday ready to work. I mean, this, this deal's an 11-week grind, and our kids know that. You never know. Whenever you play a good football team, they'll expose you. Uh, they'll, they, if they think there's, there may be something that we think is a strength that maybe they don't think is a strength, and they may attack it, and we'll have to rethink our thoughts. You know, there's going to be a good task. It's going to be a fun task for all of us. So how about that other Midland team now? The Lee Rebels hit the road on Friday to take on a solid Smithson Valley squad. So let's check out how the Rebels did. Again, out close to San Antonio taking on Smithson Valley. See how the Rebels start off this season. Quarterback Felix Hinojosa at the home for the Rebs. He's going to take this one for himself. So we are still scoreless and Midland Lee still has the ball. Now this time... Hinojosa still at the home. This time, though, he would find Logan Acosta for a little bit of a gain there for Midland Lee. Trying to see if the Rebels can capitalize on this one, get something going on offense. This time, Hinojosa finds Josh Trailer. He takes it for a nice little gain, but the Rebels would not be able to get the touchdown this time, but they would get a field goal against Smithson Valley, ranked 14th in the state, according to Dave Campbell's magazine. Rangers with the ball now, but that Midland League defense got in on the action to get the stop. So we had an absolute thriller down in Smithson Valley. The Rebels just barely squeeze out this victory. Midland League starts off the season against a solid team with a 24-23 victory. And coming up next on Base and Gridiron, we get a chance to chat with some of those Midland Lee Rebels and their head coach to talk about that awesome victory. And college football Saturdays are back in the basin. Highlights and news from week one after the break, including a look at how those Texas Tech Red Raiders did. We've always loved connecting to stuff. We added routers and modems on top of cables and cable boxes and wireless internet, which somehow also came with wires. Why can't all those things be one thing? Introducing Altis One. One experience now brings together live TV, internet, built-in Wi-Fi, and streaming apps without extra cords or hardware. All your home entertainment is finally under one roof. Altis One. Experience the one only from Southern Link. Here come the last of our 2018s. Toyota's National Clearance Event is the best part of summer. And with super low APR financing and great lease deals, it won't last long. Oh, I'm so excited. You are not alone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes! But my job. Right now, qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 60 months, plus a $2,000 special edition bonus on a new 2018 Tundra Crew Max special edition. Save on the last of the 2018s. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. Can you hear it? The sound of style, fashion, and fun. Music City Mall. Everything you need under one roof. Over 100 merchants, live entertainment, and family fun. Can you hear it? That's the sound of life. Music City Mall, where you have it all. It's the final days of the Ford Summer Sales Event. 
There are only a few days left to take advantage of 0% financing for 72 months, plus an extra 1,000 cash back across a great lineup of Ford SUVs. So hurry and save big on Ford, America's best-selling brand. Now drive a Ford SUV with 0% APR for 72 months, plus $1,000 cash back. For a limited time, it's your best in Texas Ford dealer. Keep your internet bill on ice this summer. Get internet starting as low as $19.99 a month, frozen for one year from Suddenlink. Named the fastest internet in the U.S. by PC Magazine. How fast? You can get speeds of up to one gig available with unlimited data. And for a limited time, you'll also get Netflix included. Have Netflix? We'll pay for it. That's a $130 value. This summer, get the chillest prices for internet, starting as low as $19.99 a month, frozen for one year. Call 844-832-1317 today or visit Suddenlink.com slash speed. You're watching Face and Gridiron, brought to you by these sponsors. Welcome back to Base and Gridiron, and thank you for staying with us. I'm joined now by Midland League head coach Clint Hartman. Coach, how are you doing? Great. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for joining us tonight. Okay, so just to start things off, you're coming off this big victory over Smithson Valley. So, how's it feel? Feels good. Uh, the difference in feeling being in a good mood and a bad is one point. So, right. I uh, feel good right now about our program and how we're in the direction it's going in. So, you talked a lot about the defense early on, especially when we talked last week. Mm -hmm. So, I guess including the defense, you held it to a low-scoring game. What were some positives that you saw out of this game? No one positive found a way to win on the road in a, in a hostile environment. Uh, state ranked team uh, went down there, drove five and a half hours, and played well. Uh, that, that's a good football program. They've been in the playoffs, I think, 26 out of 27 years. Uh, but as far as positives, there's a lot of positives. When you find a way to win, your offense scored enough points to win. But in all three of our phases, we returned a kick for a touchdown. Our defense played really well until about the last six minutes. But there's a lot of things that we always say at our place, the biggest room in the world is room for improvement. So we have a lot of room for improvement. We're happy that we're 1-0, and now we need to get prepared for Monday's practice. What are some of those improvements, some of those things you want to work on? Uh, we just want to work on probably the... For us right now, it's probably as a, as a team grows, it's just understanding situations and situation parts of football. Uh, at the end of the game, we had a situation when they kicked a, a, a ball to us and we fumbled on the kickoff turn. And we, for us, we always talk about how fragile it is winning or losing. And so everything counts. Every second, every minute of your life counts. So how do we get better every day? How do we practice better? Uh, how do we look for better situations? So it's just a growing process, but I'm telling you, I'm extremely proud of them and glad that we want to know. And how important it is, is it to start off a season with the win? What kind of confidence boost is that? I think it's huge. I think uh, the kids learn that every, all the hard work, all the summer, all the strength and conditioning, all the character development, all the showing up early and, and staying late uh, means something. Uh, and so getting a chance to go down and win, I'm telling you, you're in a lot better mood on Monday morning's practice with the win instead of a loss. Absolutely. How is, how did the team feel, I guess, after the win? I think they felt uh, extremely excited. I mean, uh, like I said, I mean, it was an electric atmosphere. They had nine, ten thousand people there, and they're all in blue. Uh, and then we had our faithful that showed up, uh, but we were outnumbered. Uh, but whenever you win a game like that on the road, I think you start building some confidence that maybe what we're doing is really right. Maybe we are a really good football team. Now we got a lot of work to do, uh, but it's always a better feeling the next day. Right. So big win on the road. Now you have a home game this Friday against Abilene. So what's that matchup looking like? That's a tough matchup. Uh, every time you play Abilene High and, and Midland Lee, it's been a traditional West Texas rival. Uh, we watch film, Tascosa, one of our district opponents who has a running back that's got 50, 50 offers or whatever from everybody in the country. They held them to 14 points. Their defense runs around are extremely, extremely good. Uh, they had an injury at quarterback, so we don't know who they're going to play at quarterback, how that will change, what the dynamics of it is. Uh, but whenever you play West Texas football that are traditional old Southwest Conference rivalries, uh, the little Southwest Conference rivalries, uh, they're going to get after us and we're going to get after them. It'll be fun. Uh, we just want a whole lot of people there to, to cheer us on. Yeah, so kind of piggybacking off of that, how exciting is it to have a game at home now? It's extremely exciting. I think there's, you know, our juniors, our, our sophomores, our, our seniors that weren't on the varsity last year, they had a chance to play on the road and see what that's like. Now they have a chance to go play at Grande Stadium in front of our hometown, our, our, our band, our cheerleaders, our dance team, our student section, which I want our student section to be extremely crazy. Uh, and, and they get a chance to play there, and that's a fun atmosphere. And it's be fun for them because uh, those are the members they're going to remember. Okay, Coach. Well, thank you. Congra congratulations on the win, and good luck next week. Now, before we chat with some of those Midland Leafs players, let's take a look at some more football recaps from around the basin. 
All right, and we had the Seminole Indians taking on Lubbock High. Indians up 14 to 0 after the first quarter. Second quarter was a little slower until this last minute. Seminole with the ball. Jordan Matthews finds Caden Wade way down there, so we would move all the way up to the 10 yard line. Less than 10 seconds left. Matthews this time finds James Hurston just short of a touchdown so four seconds left in the half now matthews takes it home himself extra point would be good after that so the indians go up 21 to zip at half lubbock high would get on the board in the second half but seminole runs away with this one final score of 21 to 7. now over in big spring the steers hosted greenwood on their home turf for their first game of the season players were pumped big spring still looking for that win First drive of the game for the Rangers, quarterback Weston Wilbur makes some gain there, but the Steers are all over it, causing a fumble and recovering. Fans are excited. Nothing came out of that drive. Rangers next drive, they march down the field, and who else but Wilbur again? He gets the redemption and the touchdown. Greenwood on the board first, 7-0 later in the first quarter. Steers quarterback Ethan Cortez trying to make something happen, but the Rangers get the sack there making it third and long. A penalty and a block punt later. The Rangers are on Big Spring's five-yard line, and they capitalize on it. Trey Cross with the touchdown there. He gets the easy one going up 13 in the first quarter, and the Rangers get the win 21-12. to 12. All right, Monahan's new head coach, Mel Maxfield, took over after Mickey Owens retired. They're hosting Clint first quarter. Fumble and Brian Bonilla takes it into Monahan's territory. So some trouble for the Lobos early on. Let's go to the second quarter now, seven to seven. Here come the Lions for Clint. Jeremy Truon takes it in for a good run. So they go up 14 to seven now. After kickoff, check this out. Jaheim Amos takes it and takes off in a burst of speed, and he is gone. That would tie up the game at 14. The Lobos, a new head coach, Mel Maxfield, win this one, but just barely. Monahans takes a 27-26 to 26 victory over Clint. Now we had McKamey hosting Erion County. Early in the first quarter, McKamey's Gunner Adams takes the handoff, and he is gone. 45-yard touchdown run to make it 7-0 Badgers. And then after recovering on an ensuing onside kick, quarterback Carson Fuentes finds Ivan Rubio deep. He makes the catch, and it's another Badger touchdown, 14-0 to for McKamey. Early on in the second quarter, Fuentes throws up an absolute beauty to Nano Rodriguez, four-year starter there. He hauls it in, and McKamey is in the red zone. They turn this into a drive, six more points. McKamey dominates Erion County to open up the season. Badgers get a 58-0 shutout win. Now we have plenty of more highlights on our website, yourbasin.com, or if you just want to see those highlights again, you can hit up the local sports tab and scroll into the video section at the bottom of the page. Now, stay with us because after the break, I get to sit down with some of those Midland League players who helped make that win happen on Friday, so stay tuned. Ta, 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 ta. What are you doing? I'm enjoying the American Classical. It's the American Classic, All American Dog and Tots for two ninety nine. Enjoy the All American Dog and and Tots. Give me that. Choose a chili cheese coney or a quarter pound double cheeseburger with Tots for just two ninety nine. Welcome to Toyota's National Clearance Event. Only happens once a year. We've got the last of the 2018. We have amazing deals. Great lease deals. Deals so good. I wish I came up with it, but <laughs> get in here. Toyota's National Clearance Event. It's the best part of summer. Right now, get $2,500 customer cash. Or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a stylish new 2018 Corolla. I think we need more signs. Toyota, let's go places. Imagine experiencing this level of wow, this heightened state of car buying bliss. These feelings are not uncommon at the Honda Summer Spectacular event, where you could get a great deal on the Honda Pilot with seating for up to eight. This euphoria is only available at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. So come experience it for yourself. We see it all the time. Visit your local Honda dealer and test drive the Honda Pilot, named part of 2018's best SUV lineup in America. 
It's the Labor Day Monday sale at Ashley Home Store. Storewide savings Labor Day Monday. Save up to 50% off or 72 months no interest plus free delivery. Doorbusters start at 9 a.m. Get a queen memory foam mattress for $98. Two accent chairs for $98. Get a sofa and love seat for $388 and get a rug for free. Six-piece bedroom set for $488. Get a chest for free. First 25 people will receive a special gift. Take an additional 60% off clearance item storewide. Enjoy free hot dogs and great savings this Labor Day at Ashley Home Store. It's the Ford Summer Sales Event, and now is the best time to buy. You ready for this, Junior? Yeah, I think I can handle it. No pressure. That's just my favorite boat. Boom. <laughs> Make summer go right with Ford, America's best-selling brand. During the Ford Summer Sales Event, find great offers across a huge lineup of Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. It's the final days to get an F-150 with 0% APR for 66 months plus $32.50 cash back at your best in Texas Ford dealer. I relate to the berries in these real fruit berry shakes because they're small but powerful. I relate to the ice cream because it's rich and has an amazing singing voice. Got it. Get real fruit berry shakes half price after 8 p.m. But hurry, real fruit berry season ends after Labor Day. You're watching Base and Gridiron, brought to you by these sponsors. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Base and Gridiron. Again, I'm Erin Reynolds, and now I am joined by a few members of the Midland Leaf football team. We have Michael Hinojosa, Josh Trailer, and Felix Hinojosa, all from the Rebels football team. How's it going, guys? Great. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. Thanks. Okay, so you start off the season with a big win on the road. How's it feel? It feels great for us. It's a big win for our program. We really needed that. They're a top 15 in the state. Uh, we put in a lot of work in the off season. Uh, there's been no breaks. There's never any breaks in our program. Our coaches are always constantly working to get us better. And we, the people that are still in the program have accepted the challenge. And it's showing that it's paying off all the hard work and dedication to go beat a top 15 team in the state. Right. So what was practice like going into this first big game? What was the preparation there? Well, we just do what we do. We don't change for anyone. We believe that we're always being coached the best, and that's how we did it. We didn't change anything going into this that's really how it was. Okay, so Felix, it's your first season starting at quarterback for the Rebels, right? Yes. So so what was that like for you, that first game, this, that first real-life scrimmage? Uh, it was good. I felt well-prepared. The coaches always well-prepare us. There's a lot of game plan that goes into it during the week, a lot of coming in early, a lot of staying after, there's lots of questions asked. So we, I felt really prepared. The game didn't feel fast. It felt normal. The offensive line made me feel good. The whole team really made me feel good. We just felt, you know, this was normal to us with cool. all this stuff. Okay, and Josh, as someone who takes the ball from Felix a lot, what was that like? How was that first game with him like? Uh, I mean, me and Felix, we played together freshman year, so I mean, it kind of, it really wasn't nothing different from taking the ball from Samaje sophomore year or Kobe my junior year, so I mean, I could adjust real well to it, so. Nothing major. So lots of chemistry. That's, yes, that's good. Okay, and then Michael, Coach Hartman has been preaching about defense this entire preseason. So how did you feel into this game? Uh, I feel we're prepared. Um, <coughs> um, coaches, uh, they give us a lot of good coaching. Uh, they prepare us well. We take no days off, no plays off. Uh, if we mess up, we get chewed out. Uh, so you got to really uh, work for your position. And if you don't... Uh, well, it's <laughs> tough. Uh -huh. And how excited are y'all to have a game at home this upcoming Friday? How big is that? We're really excited. We've, we've been on the road for three, two scrimmages already and then a, a really big trip for a game. So we're really excited to just be at home, be in our own field, be able to go 15, 20 minutes away to the stadium, have our friends cheering for us, our fans. There's probably going to be a lot. It'll be fun for us all. Okay, well, thanks for joining us, guys, and good luck later this week. Okay, so we week we one of college football is nearly in the books as well, and the Texas Tech Red Raiders met up with the Ole Miss Rebels. 
McLean Carter getting the start for Texas Tech. He finds T.J. Basher who snags that one. So let's take another look at that. Oh, no, Beckham out there. Okay, same drive later on. Again, McLean Carter at the helm. He hands off this time to DeLeon Ward, who takes it all the way home. So we have a tie ball game in the first quarter after an early Reb touchdown. Now Ole Miss trying to respond. Rebels Jones catches the return, and he makes his way all the way through that much-talked-about Red Raider defense. So a 94-yard run, and Ole Miss would retake the lead with that touchdown, 14-7. to Fourth quarter, Rebels pulled ahead up by 10, and they find A.J. Brown in the end zone, so that would extend Ole Miss's lead, 43-27. to After kind of a back-and-forth start, Ole Miss gets a 20-point win, 47-27. to Cliff Kingsbury and his squad not off to a very hot start. And we had some rainy weather here yesterday, but Houston dealt with some nasty weather as well. UTPV's game was pushed back more than two hours and didn't end until after midnight, and it would result in a loss for the Falcons. Anyway, so Texas Southern wins this one 26-16. to Now be sure to stay with us because after the break, coming up next on Basin Gridiron, I'll break down some of my favorite plays of the week. Wires. Cables, routers, modems, say goodbye to all that clutter. Introducing Altice One from Suddenlink. It's the ultimate all-in-one connected entertainment experience. You'll get 200 channels, 4K Ultra HD, with streaming apps, and a voice-activated remote. Looking for comedies? Just ask. You'll also get powerful whole home Wi-Fi for fast internet in every room on every device. It's the one system for all your systems. Call 877-760-9913 and get all Tees One from Suddenlink for just $69.99 per month for one year. Act now and we'll give you a $20 monthly credit for two years. Plus, no annual contract and a 30-day money-back guarantee. You'll also get Netflix for one year. Already have Netflix? We'll pay for it. All it takes is one. All Tees One from Suddenlink. Call 877-760-9913 or visit AllTeesOne.com. difference they make until you realize what a difference they make the all-new ram 1500 why more people are switching to ram than ever before hurry to the ram labor day sales event or get an average ten thousand four hundred dollars in total values on the all-new 2019 ram 1500 and texas residents get these additional offers I'm Bob Mills, and I promise nobody's going to do this for you for less than 20 a month except during the Bob Mills Labor Day free celebration here at Bob Mills Sleep Spa. Get this Somniva Queen mattress with the cooling gel, normally $2,000. During the free event, just $9.97. But don't you need two mattresses? Get a second one free. It's only at the Labor Day free celebration here at Bob Mills Sleep Spa. Cables, routers, modems, say goodbye to that clutter. Introducing Altice One from Suddenlink, the ultimate all-in-one connected entertainment experience. Get 200 channels with streaming apps, a voice-activated remote, and powerful Wi-Fi for fast internet in every room on every device. Plus, get Netflix for one year. Call 855-875-6345 or visit AltiseOne.com and get Altice One from Suddenlink for just $69.99 a month for one year. Act now and we'll give you a $20 monthly credit for two years. All it takes is one. Altice One. You're watching Basin Gridiron, brought to you by these sponsors. Hi, everyone, and thanks for sticking with us for one last time tonight. I am Erin Reynolds, and now I am going to pick a couple of my favorite plays from this week to share with you. We had lots of high school ball on Friday, lots of college ball yesterday, but... Let's kick things off at the high school level and work our way up. So we're going to go back out to Monahans for this one. Now after a kickoff, after a punt return, not really sure here because we didn't get that part. But anyway, Jaheim Amos takes off and runs it all the way down the length of the field for a Lobo touchdown. Now that touchdown would even up the game at 14 apiece. So that was huge for Monahans. After all, they went on to win by just one. So hats off. To you, Mr. Amos and the Monahan's Lobos. Let's take a look at this one again just so we can see just exactly how far he runs. Okay, so moving on to college ball now. Now, this one is pretty obvious. It has SC Top 10 written all over it. 
McLean Carter finds TJ Basher for Texas Tech who makes an absolutely insane snag. Now let's take a look at this one again in slow motion this time. Again, there's Basher just taking this one down Odell Beckham style out here. Now that would eventually lead to a Red Raider touchdown, but not a Red Raider win. But details, details. All right, that is all the time that I have for tonight. So thank you for joining me on our season kickoff of Basin Gridiron. It's been a pleasure having you. So be sure to tune in next Friday, however, for the best football show in the Basin final score. And we will be back with Gridiron next Sunday. So I will see you next week.